We're here at uh, Morningside Park in beautiful Scarborough. As people walk through these parks at this time of year, they may not notice the amazing things that could be happening right in front of them in these creeks and rivers. Coming We're up so lucky and, and, you know, here in the GTA um, to have this incredible phenomenon literally happen right in our backyard. Salmon completing their migration and their incredible journey to uh, return to their spawning grounds and complete this life cycle. You know, as scientists, we're still complete, not completely sure how they're even doing it. You know, we think there's uh, you know, some uh, electric, electromagnetic uh, you know, signals going on, maybe smell, but you know, the real magic is the idea of these salmon you know, beating all odds, swimming upstream, you know, hurling themselves as it continues its journey upstream. It's this time of year where, you know, as the temperature gets a little colder, you know, usually rain has, uh, has, has an impact on this. Unfortunately, what happened as Toronto grew and developed through habitat loss and whatnot, um, Atlantic salmon um, were, became extirpated, which means locally extinct. So the decision at the time was to, you know, introduce Pacific salmon, largely coho and, and chinook, and to this day, that's what we're often still seeing complete the migration. That being said, there's an incredible program um, that is being led by a number of different partners, and it's called Bring Back the Salmon, where there's this effort to actually try to restock these natural native populations of Atlantic salmon, and uh, we've had some great successes. Is there a concern for you that we don't see any here today? Is it because it's so hot out? Yeah, I think it's uh, it's not surprising given the temperature. Um, it's not a concern at this point. Um, I think to some extent this is where, you know, we can't exactly predict when these natural phenomena are going to be happening. But it's sort of humbling. We don't know exactly, ex you know, when this peak migration is going to happen. Well, there are several areas around the city where you will be able to spot salmon over the next couple of weeks, and the TRCA is hoping you'll help them keep track of it all. Go to the TRCA website for the interactive map where you can register your salmon sightings across the city. At Morningside Park, Audra Brown, City News.